You are in my studio. It was in March 2006. It was very cold. You can see me working. I use a long self man pen holder, which allow me to establish a distance, a background on the picture space. This distance obliges body and mind to be both invested, to make one with the tool whose weight is negligible and whose stiffness means that the slightest arms move produce a tiny line at two meters from the eye. In the silence of the workplace, the rasping of the pen defines breath rhythm, which is sometimes suspended to hold back a line trying to escape. When concentration is intense, I have sometimes the feeling that it's my nail itself which grazes the milky skin of the paper and makes an incision like in a ritual of scarification. Without colors, it is the lines accumulation which provides the register of subtle shades which come up very slowly from light to dark without chance of remorses. With the distance, the gaze records the slightest checking of grid generated by the addition of a single line. I have turned over my work to get a different gaze on the picture space, to forget the subject, and just perceive relationships between shadows and lights. Now, the drawing is in the right way around. The work is fixed on the frame to allow me to turn it over without touching the paper. This paper comes from India. It is called Indian Ban, a very thin medium. My favorite ink comes from Japan. It's a calligraphic ink called Ishiyama. That means stone and mountain. It gets an incredible fluidity. The subject I approach is related to life, to movements, to gestures, those of bodies entangled, caressing and loving, those of the passion which drive them. I have entitled that work, Woman Straddling Number One.